With September being National Prostate Health Month, Greenwich Hospital partnered with Ed Randall's Fans for a Cure Charity Foundation for the third consecutive year Friday night to raise awareness on prostate cancer and offer free screenings. Former Major League Baseball players Willie Upshaw, Phil Linz, and Fred Cambria joined longtime baseball radio host and prostate cancer survivor Ed Randall in the Noble Conference Center to talk baseball. Randall is a post-game analyst for the New York Yankees commercial telecasts. In 2002, he started Fans for a Cure to educate the public on prostate cancer prevention and treatment. I had no history of cancer in the family and, uh, of course, no symptoms because prostate cancer has no symptoms and it was frankly shocking. What we advocate at the charity is that there's a 96 to 97 percent cure rate if prostate cancer is detected early, so why wouldn't you want to go to the doctors? Although more men are being diagnosed with prostate cancer, fewer men are dying from prostate cancer, so that must mean that the screening process that we're doing, although not perfect, um, and not without risks, has benefited as far as decreasing the mortality rate from prostate cancer. Reports show every hour, 24 men are diagnosed with prostate cancer in the U.S. It's the most common non-skin cancer in America, striking 240,000 men each year, enough to fill Yankee Stadium five times. Studies also show a man is 33 percent more likely to get prostate cancer than a woman is to get breast cancer. If one has prostate cancer, then it, based on your age, your health, the grade of your cancer would dictate what you do, whether that would be radiation therapy, surgeries, uh, medicines, or a combination of all. We have a, a tremendous responsibility to get the men in this country to recognize prostate cancer has no symptoms, and yet there's a great chance that even if you're diagnosed with it, you'll be okay. For more information, visit fansforthecure.org or Greenwich Hospital's website. Priscilla Lombardi, itsrelevant.com.